Hey, this is Paul with Two Birds, One Stone, Backyard Gardening and Living. And today, what you're going to see is me put this battery-operated, self-propelled lawnmower through the ringer. <music> 80 volt Atlas from Harbor Freight. At the end of the video, I'm gonna give it a score from one to 10. Uh, this is a non-biased, non-affiliated, Review. I've never done a product review. I needed a lawnmower like I Needed a lawnmower. You'll see the video watch and at the end of the video I'll give a score from 1 to 10 and I don't give kind of willy-nilly scores. This is gonna be a real-life score um, And I'll tell you how this thing performed and whether or not it's the lawnmower for you. Thanks for watching This is two birds one stone backyard gardening normally I do videos about growing your own food in your backyard But it turns out I needed a lawnmower and you'll see why So here we're going to do an unboxing of the Atlas brushless cordless mower. I've bought two batteries. Um, the whole package cost me around 500 bucks and I didn't have any coupons or anything like that. Usually with Harbor Freight you can find better deals but I couldn't wait anymore. It was like, it's like that when you need a haircut and you really need a haircut and there's a pandemic and you can't find anybody to cut your hair, you just go to the first person that will cut your hair and this did it for me. I didn't want to mess around with a gasoline motor. I didn't want to mess around with anything. I just want a good mower that's not going to break down. Let's see what I got. Let's see how it does. Because I've got grass from this stuff to some really tall grass. So I'll give you a shot and you'll see this place needs a mower. All right. So here we go. We're going to have a lawnmower. Ooh, it smells of plastic. What do you think so far? Horrible plastic. We'll try to keep things from flying around. Oh, so this is the grass catcher. Instructions. We really, really need a lawnmower. I have bees. So I'm still gonna strategically mow. I'm not gonna mow first thing in the spring. And I'm, I'm, we're not gonna mow first thing in the spring, but you just do need a mower for certain things. Oh yeah. Not too heavy. Important. Before starting, set speed controller to lowest setting. User may feel subtle loss of power and or power surge while batteries switch. So far, really easy to set up. I haven't read the instructions, which is pretty standard here at Two Birds, One Stone Backyard Gardening and Living. Yeah, I'm gonna go get the batteries. Okay, you guys, first impressions. This looks pretty sturdy. Um, a little plasticky. I'm a little afraid I'll over tighten these guys, but I'm gonna try to be gentle with this thing and see how it performs because I don't want to break my $500 investment. It's $500 actually because the batteries, I got two of them. Batteries are expensive. The mower itself was pretty cheap. All right, I've got two batteries. Apparently you can run it with just one, but I got two because I got a big lawn. This is exciting. This is fun. Things are going to change around here, I mean. We're going to have a neat, well-cupped lawn for the rest of our lives. Do you think that's true? It's just going to be fun. The neighbors are going to be so proud of us. Whoa, whoa, what is that about? Oh, you don't want to do that, folks. All right, that was a little dangerous. Obviously, uh, pulling this little red pin here makes it so it can't go on. And then when it's shipped, uh, the little ties make it so it's actually on. So you put the battery in and it's on. Watch out. I'm sure Harbor Freight warns you about that. All right, let's see what it looks like when it's out. Can you move your box for a sec? Yes. He is wonderful. So that starts it. And this makes it move. It's super quiet, huh? It is super quiet, folks. All right, 
I'm going to take the mic off and I'm just going to do a couple passes. I'm going to get the hose out of the way and then the next day or two we'll see how this thing uh, performs. Interesting, interesting. All right, you saw right over here, I kind of hit something and uh, it shut off. So uh, it scared me, but uh, it came back on. So we'll see. We'll see if this can keep up with two birds, one stone uh, mess here. I'm gonna take a look underneath and see what it looks like. I don't know about this plastic here. This, this is plastic, so. We'll see. So that battery uh, cut out there. The instructions say to take the batteries out uh, after, and wait five minutes. Lots of vegetables. Yeah. yeah. Now, I don't care about the lawn, but it's time to mow. <laughs> Good. 
All right, you guys, I'm gonna stop filming for a bit, but you uh, kind of see what it does in the tall grass there. Um, stand by for your rating. All right, you guys, final score. Um, I got my glass of wine. Here's to the Atlas. But first I wanna ask you, uh, please like and subscribe. Uh, my channel is all about growing your own food outside. Um, perennials, perennial plants, perennial plants that give you food like asparagus, raspberries, strawberries, uh, fruit trees. Uh, so consider liking and subscribing this channel and also like and subscribe because I'm going to give a three month update on this. So one to 10, I give the Atlas 80 volt lithium self-propelled Harbor Freight lawnmower a 6.4. It's not a miracle machine. Um, I, you know, I was hoping for a miracle. It is what it is. Um, the good, it's light, it's quiet, it's maintenance free. And I noticed that you get better with it as you go. You know what it can handle. It has a, a safety feature that uh, makes the battery cut out just like a, um, a regular lawnmower, a gas powered lawnmower would cut out if you're giving it too much. This will cut out to protect its batteries. Um, so you learn how to finesse it as you go along. The bad, I don't think it's indestructible. Um, we'll see how long this thing lasts me. I'm hoping to get a few years out of it. A few years at least, 500 bucks. Um, and it's not, here's another thing, it's not more, more powerful than your typical gas-powered Briggs & Stratton lawnmower. Um, it's just, you know, it, if you give it too much, it's going to die. It's not a miracle machine, like I said. You can overwhelm it. So this thing is ideal, I think, for somebody that's got an, a suburban lawn, less than a quarter acre, uh, that cuts it fairly regularly. That's not what I do here but I think I'm gonna learn to be able to use it how I need it. Um, I'll, I'll be mowing more regularly, hopefully. That'll, it'll make me do that probably. But yeah, it's good for somebody with a more typical uh, urban lawn. I think it's just the noise, it beats. I'm not going back to gas. So thanks for watching. This has been Two Birds, One Stone Backyard Gardening and Living. Like, subscribe, and follow along as I turn this into a a food forest paradise full of fruits and vegetables. And uh, we shouldn't be too worried about our grass. I think you should be growing food. So thanks for watching.